Well, here I am along the highway. You guys, some of you guys will recognize this spot, I'm sure. But uh, we were out here looking for the treasures, Spanish treasures. Uh, they got the petroglyphs and then markers. And then we crossed the highway and we went up above up there. And that's where I found that rock, the hole in the rock that I'm sure had a treasures buried in there once upon a time, but somebody else beat me to it. So I didn't get it. But uh, ran into this guy, professional dowser guy. And he said that uh, he can douse treasures. So that's what we're going to be doing this morning. We're going to see if he can douse some treasures and maybe we'll see what happens. Huh? Just uh, kind of hanging out here, waiting for him to show up. But I'll show you a couple of them uh, petroglyphs or writings on the rocks and some of the stuff I found before that led me to that hole in the rock. It is a gorgeous morning. Sun is out. No clouds in the sky. Uh, it's going to get warm a little later, so have to get out here halfway early to get this stuff uh, accomplished or walk around or whatever it is that we're doing before it gets too hot. And then we got to get out of here. But like I said, I'm just hanging out waiting for this guy to show up and then we'll see what happens. Some of these writings are so old, they're faded. You can't even tell what they are. There you can see like, it's like a man and maybe a cross. And then on the back side, you see these, uh, what do they call them? Grinding bowls or matatis. I see a few of them around here. Looks like bees are uh, hanging around there. I don't want to get too close to those bees. For some reason, government's put this marker here. I don't know why. Uh, 1981, vertical control mark, Washington, D.C. I wonder what that means. Huh. It says it's a witness pulse. Please do not disturb survey marker. Huh. Okay. Oh, the wind just kind of picked up. Whee. You know, a while back, I stopped out here. I don't remember why I stopped for, but I stopped out here and there was a Jeep parked in the same area. And then from clear back over into that corner up over that way, this guy comes walking out and then he, uh, he gets in his Jeep and he leaves. But I noticed he had government plates on. And I'm wondering, what was he doing over there that he knew well, that about? That always made me wonder, though, what he was doing. Oh, here's this guy. And there he is. Look at that. So he showed up here. You got it going, do you? Well, let the adventure begin. <laughs> yeah. How you doing? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Hey, all right. So I'll see how much sulfides are in that mountain right there. How much sulfides are in there? I'm going to find out how much sulfides are over there, how strong it is, because it's always associated with gold out in this area. So, and those are your rods? These are my rods. They've got a gold wire on the end of them. Cool. So, all right. Be because they have a gold magic. wire, because they have a gold wire on the end of them, they won't cross on this metal. Oh, yeah. Where almost all other rods would. So, I'll pick up the signal, which I just did, and I'll walk. So every time this turns, that's sulfides in that mountain. 
so I'll go back. You see, I'm holding him down. I'm not holding him up like this, so I'm not cheating. Okay. That's a, that's a pretty strong signal when I can hold him down that far and they keep turning, see? So now I'll find out how strong it is. Where's the strongest? Where's the strongest amount of sulfides in that mountain? at the bottom or the top I'd have to go over there and get closer but that's where the most sulfides are huh. that's very very important. very important that's a key factor to finding gold in Arizona is the sulfides now I can tell you where the gold is but you have to give me a minute I have to switch okay. Where it starts, I'll get away from this. I'll get over a little bit farther. So the signal starts right there. So for my deal, it goes to the edge of that mountain right there, and it keeps going, it keeps going, and it stops. So it's one half of that mountain is where the gold is. Now let's find out how much gold is there. Well, right where I told you the most sulfides are is where the most gold is. Because now I'm not getting the gold signal until I get right here. So the most gold is Right there. A lot of gold over there. targets but that's a lot that's a lot yeah that's wow. that's two or three four ounce gold yeah. per ton that's pretty good yeah that's a that's a mineable deal yeah anything over two ounces is a, a good mineable deal for hard rock uh we can go over and see if there's any plaster in the creek okay in the dry wash okay that'd be good to check only out. thing we have okay. to do is cross the highway without getting ran over it is natural gold I can show you probably there's a vein there with a sulfide deposit and really? gold. Wow. So we can take some samples. I can take them back to uh, Wickenburg to my metallologist and they can run an assay test for me on it. Cool. Is that BLM property? Yeah. Could be claimed up when, then. When you look at the, that cross section on that vein right there, that's very unusual the way it is. You take a need. look at it, you'll see. So you need the, you need the iron sulfides which is red then you need the calcite which is a white powderish kind of stuff because it's a low ph it makes the gold drop out of the iron sulfides because like the old prospector said uh, gold rides an iron horse and that's very very true gold travels with the iron plus it's moved with the quartz of course well i'm all suited up dressed up ready to cross this highway Here well we, we made it across the highway without getting ran over <laughs> These old cans again. This can is kind of strange, huh? It's got bumps all over it. Oh, it must be an oil filter or something like that, huh? Filter can. Wow. A little tricky walking down through here. Don't want to fall. Hell, I'm just along for the ride. 
You know, I remember being a kid and going to railroad tracks and picking up this type of rock. A lot of times it's like that volcanic rock yeah. and people use them for their barbecue pits and that. And they put them inside their barbecues. Yeah. So I used to go along the railroad tracks and pick up all that volcanic rock for my Of course, barbecue. you can always just go to Home Depot and get some so, too. Same as calcite right here. Yeah. That's that white veins? That's that white vein that's calcite. I hear that train it coming. Here's one direct line. There's two, another line. There's three, another line. There's four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll tell you how far away it is. Negative poles of the earth. Now I'm going to read the other pole by walking this direction. So there's that line. So really what we're saying is, is this is where the target is. Right there in the center. How far those lines are apart, how far it is away from you and I right now. Oh. So I want to read how it is. It's a little closer. Within a thousand feet. This is a quarter of a mile. This is a half a mile. I know that from experience. Maybe those are longer. small targets. It's got gold, and you could go there and find gold, I promise you, but it's small. So why do you want the small? You don't. So okay. now we're walking over here to the gold. <laughs> I found this down there too. It's got some nickel in it, and we assayed out some cobalt. That's your peridot. Come here now, you can see the vein. Why don't you look at this vein right there? See it going? Yeah. Now, here it is right here. So here's the vein. What are you doing now? They're not crossing, they're going both directions. It's wider than you think it is. You can't see it all. Starts right here. Starts before you ever see it. Let me see. Starts right here. And it continues on. And then it stops right here. So that vein's about four foot wide. Huh. Is what that vein is. Yeah, I didn't know I was going to be hiking all day today. That's not, the, that's not where the main thing is, but it's starting to carry more. You can see it right here. This is carrying. No, it clicks out at two. Very small. That's not what we're after. Much stronger. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, it's not that strong yet. So what's all in this rock? It's a uh, peridot and, and granite. And it's got some quartz. It's, but here's the here's the vein system that was attached. See this right here? Yeah. Look, look at this side. This would be worth taking off and taking back and crushing it. I guarantee you it'd be, most of it would be right there though. Good place for not only snakes, but good place for lions too. Yeah. See the iron in it? See the quartz in it? Yeah. That's reading better. Here, right here below me. I'll show you this piece. This is a good piece. This was all attached at one time, or it's a stringer vein. You got a loose rock over there? Vein here or something. Oh yeah, look. It's got the red in it.
got to be a billy goat to get up and through here. Well, there's the vein. Part of the vein right there. It's going off in that direction. <laughs> that chair right that was there what we called the king's chair and there was that petroglyph at the bottom of that right there right below there right over there was that hole where it used to have some treasure somebody beat me to it look at that flat rock right there perfectly flat right there kind of strange huh perfectly flat rock right there the vehicles way down there on the other side of the road Ooh, long ways away at least we can keep an eye on the vehicles huh trying to find the vein the main source where this gold is at up here i think i'm gonna try to walk whoa my wind Whew. got windy all of a sudden man you see a branch blow scares you the jeebies out of you <laughs> You never know what type of critters you might run into. Snake, a lion, a coyote. I'm telling what could be up here. It's a big ass rock. I don't think I pinned myself in here. I don't think I can get by there. Pretty sure I can't get by there. I'm gonna have to backtrack. That's what I wanna get right there on that ledge. I don't know how I'm gonna get down there though. That's a drop off right there. I wanna go that way. Looks like something's living up underneath that rock there. You can see the fresh dirt moved around. no choice but to go back down and try to work my way around this way to get up over here. Oh, you made it to the other side. Nice, nice little cave system back up in there. Oh, here I am right there. There's them writings on the rocks. I was trying to find that hole where, the, where I thought was a stash. I can't find it now. That is weird. Where'd that hole go? Well, somebody else has been up here, that's for sure. looking cave right there. It's really strange. I was like standing right here looking down right below these writings and then I just looked down and I could see it. It's gone. Well, Dennis is down there waiting for me so I better start heading back down here. Yes, I do. Can't find it. That is some weird, weird, weird stuff. If there's any line around here, I'm glad you're leading the way then. Yeah, Look at that right there. The lunchbox. I think that's, you know what that is, I think? I think that's a geocache. Somebody put a geocache up here. Out. I need to 
log in at. <laughs> Put your name at in there that, that you found it. And then the the thing is, you're supposed to take something and leave something. That was kind of a treasure in itself. <laughs> well, that was a cool find just in itself. Let me see if there's larger veins over here. I can do that with this. Here goes the vein. See, I'm using that for my energy. Yeah. The vein's still going. I think it goes way up, way deep then, huh? Yes, it does. We never did get to it. Big ass mountain up there, lot to explore. So we walked to the top of the mountain, ch followed the vein, and then it like, I guess, disappeared. It went deep. Well, you we think? We found another little big piece of gold up there in that rock. We used it, and uh, it shows that the main thing is going on. We just hadn't gone far enough. But we climbed about as high as we wanted to go for today, so we'll leave the uh, oh off on another adventure right now. I think we need to uh, head back down and head back towards the truck. A lot of old cans around here. This is an older can. It's got the solder lid. That doesn't have a solder seam though, so this here is probably early 1900s maybe. Making it, old man? I'm now coming. we just gotta get back <laughs> across this highway without getting ran over. The cars are coming galore. All right. Go. Well, we made it back down to the vehicles. Yeah. Safe and sound. Check all them rocks you picked up now, huh? Yeah, See how many pieces of gold you got. Well, we made it back down. So what's, tell, what's your assessment? Well, it looks like there's uh, several veins, but one of them's holding good gold, it looks like to me. And it comes across the road and keeps going. You need to follow them both to where the pocket are. So are you, so you going to go continue on? Um, I'll go to the east here and see how far this goes. And then I've got another target about five miles south of here that I want to go check out before I go. Okay, and I'm going back well, We didn't make front. it up there to the gold veins. I guess they went too far underground or something, or we needed to get a little higher, but had enough for one day, man. Can't just keep going, you know. This that climbing those rocks are hard on All right. It's tough. Good luck, Dennis. Hope you go find whatever uh, it is. Okay, yeah. Let's get back together again and go find those gold coins and, go gold, and the gold veins over on the other side. Yep, sounds good. It'll be easier to find. Yeah, we'll have to <laughs> climb up so high, I don't think. Oh, yeah. I know, that's a big area over there to cover. Well, that's about enough for me on this adventure, so I'm heading back to the home front. I want to thank you guys for coming along sharing on these adventures, so get out there, create your own adventure. Until our paths cross again, take care, everybody, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.